Did you know every time you shuffle a 52 card deck, it's very likely, almost a certainty, that the order the cards fall in will have never occurred before in the history of human card playing. And historians believe we've been playing with the 52 card deck since the 1300s. And it's also likely that order that your cards fall in will never occur again. Here's why. <laughs> We'll start with a quick review of basic theoretical probability. On a coin, there's one head and one tail. The total number of outcomes is two heads and tails. That means there are one in two chances a head will come up and one in two chances that it will land on a tail. With a die, there are a total of six possible outcomes. That means that each of the six numbers on the die have one in six chances of being rolled. And in a 52 card deck, each card, like the six of spades here, has one in 52 chances of being selected if the cards are properly shuffled. There's only one six of spades, and there are 52 cards in total. We'll flip over the first three cards in this shuffled deck. There were 52 possibilities altogether, so the nine of diamonds had one in 52 chances of being selected. The three of clubs is second, and had one in 51 chances of being selected, because the first card, the nine of diamonds, is out of the deck. And the third card, the King of Hearts, had 1 in 50 chances of being selected because the first two cards now are out. So for every single card on the deck, there are 51 possibilities for the second card. And for every single one of those, there are 50 possibilities for the third card. So that means there are 132,600 possible combinations for just the first, second, and third cards in the deck. We'll fast forward to the 26th card in the deck, that's halfway. You can see that the 26th card, the Three of Hearts, had one in 27 chances of being selected because the previous 25 cards have been flipped and they're no longer in the deck. So if we put all of the probabilities from the first 26 cards into the calculator, we get this behemoth. That's a 20 followed by 41 zeros. We'll fast forward now to the end of the deck. The probabilities for each draw are recorded in these charts. I'll plug all of this data into the calculator and presto. So the probability of having a shuffled deck with this exact order is one in that gigantic number. An 80 followed by 67 zeros. Compare that to the chances of winning the record-breaking $1.5 billion Powerball lottery. Yeah! which were 1 in 292 million. Not very good odds, but still a heck of a lot more likely than the exact order of a shuffled deck of cards ever having occurred before or ever being repeated again. So remember, the next time you're shuffling cards, give yourself a pat on the back, because you've just made history. <laughs>